Hey, what's up? It's your boy Robert J. I'm coming at you like this. We're here in the ATL and we got a few days of snow. Well, one day of snow, two inches of snow, two and a half inches of snow, and it shut the whole city down. But I've been watching videos on YouTube and Facebook about the snow. Some people have done experiments on the snow. It's called the snow test, where they put a lighter to the snow to see exactly if it's going to burn or not. Because, you know, snow is supposed to be water or some form of water. And just like ice is a form of water, when you put a light to it, put flame to it, it's supposed to melt, it's supposed to drip. So the thing is with, this, with these videos is that none of the snow is melting. Matter of fact, it's turning black. Some say it smells like plastic. Some say it smells like burnt styrofoam, which is not supposed to be if it's water. So what I've decided to do was come out here on my deck going, I decided to do the same experiment. So what I'm going to do here is get some snow. I got my little light here. I'm going to pack it. I'm going to pack it tight. I'm going to have to find a corner or something. Woo! Oh, this mess cold. I should have worn gloves. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Snap, baby. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. It's cold. Now, what we're going to do is the snowball that I placed over here, I'm gonna put a direct flame to it. If it's water, then it's supposed to melt, which means it's supposed to drip. I'm gonna do what some of the other people have been doing. Golly, that's cold. God, that's cold. All right, now what I had to do is I had to go and put some gloves on because this mess is cold. All right, and I got a lighter. So we're gonna go back over here. Matter of fact, I'll just scoop up some of this snow, put it in a nice little ball. All right, what I've decided to do is just pile some of the snow on this on this dustpan. It was I couldn't get it to to form right in my hand, and now I'm getting my lighter. Here we go with the flame. You see the flame? Mm -hmm. And we're lighting the snow. Come down here. Shoot it from underneath that. Angle. And as you can see, the snow is not dripping at all. It's turning a dark color. I got a better lighter now, bigger flame, but that flame doesn't really matter because I'm right underneath the ice and um, underneath this fake snow. And if it was actual snow, um, then it would be dripping into my flame and putting my lighter out. As you can see, it is not burning the snow. It's, it's, it's not dripping at all. It's not wet. See here. Still putting the flame to it. And it's still, still not wet it's still not dripping that's not water that's not a water-based compound what's up with that and there is a smell i'm starting to i'm starting to pick up the smell now yeah it, it smells like some type of plastic it smells like burnt plastic a little bit so this is not snow y'all Now, what's, what's said is that because of all the chemtrails that have been in the air, chemtrails are formed um, when planes dump chemicals into the air, usually government planes, they dump chemicals into the air. When you look up in the sky, you see these lines instead of clouds. Clouds don't make straight lines or zigzag shapes. These are called chemtrails. When those chemicals, they diffuse in the air, we breathe it in, they form into the uh, they form into the sky. They they come down onto the ground. They get into the soil. They get on the trees. They get in the water supply, and these are chemicals, and these are poisonous chemicals. And by by evidence, by fact, looking at this snow right here, this is not natural snow. Natural snow would have when I put a flame to it, 
would have dripped, would have went back to a water-based um, form and would have dripped into my lighter, which it did not, because I had it directly underneath it. So, and therefore, this right here, this ain't no Georgia snow. Right here, I don't know what it is, but it's not snow. No matter of fact, my sister just left, and she was telling me that the day that it snowed, that uh, the kids, our kids, their cousin, um, they were outside playing in the snow, just like little kids do, and him and his friends began eating the snow. Well, after a while, they began to get a headache. So, if this, if they're eating this stuff right here, that's why they got a headache. Ain't no telling what they're doing. Well, anyway, it's your boy Robert J reporting here live, Control X, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining.